about um, some of the myths that people have around credit, okay? Um, and the very first thing then is a lot of people think that all debt is bad. So we've already covered this, but I think we know that um, all debt isn't bad, okay? We've got good debt and we've got bad debt. It's all about how you manage the debts, okay? So um, that's one thing, just you never want to borrow more than what you can afford to pay back, okay? The next one then is um, to, a lot of myths people say to cancel credit cards or to lower credit limits. So that goes back to what I just explained about credit utilization, okay? You want to keep your limits high and you want to keep any credit cards that you've got just so they can see that you can borrow more than what you actually borrow, okay? So there's more available to you than what you actually use. Um, but I do stress it's all about having discipline because a lot of us sometimes see that, okay, if we can, if we got a grant on our credit cards and, oh, there's those brand new pair of shoes, you know, you're going to go and spend um, on the credit card. But you want to try and keep your spending as low as possible and just spend what you know you can afford to pay back, okay? Um, so another myth, people say not to register on their electoral roll. There's a lot of people out there who don't even like the government knowing where they live and stuff, and I totally get that. Um, but if you want to look better on the credit report, then as I mentioned before, just um, try and get yourself on there. Um, so I think it's anybody over 18. I think that's voting age, isn't it? 18. Yeah, so um, anyone of voting age, anyone 18 and over, get yourself on their electoral roll. Um, and, and also, if maybe the cards already come through the door, you can always call up, um, I guess you call call up gov.uk um, to get yourself put on there. Well, I'll double check who you call to get put on the electoral roll, but you can get yourself put on there. It might just be your local authority, actually. So I'll double check. Um, that paying a few days late doesn't affect your credit. It does. Um, so once again, you'll see one of those areas on the board um, shown as, you know, um, amber or red if you've paid late. So you don't want to have too many of those. Like if it's once or twice, it's not terrible, but you don't want to have lots of those and definitely not over different accounts because that will really affect you. Um, another myth, people think that you can't be registered on more than one address. You can. So again, if you have somewhere where you can be for three years or longer, and then if you know you're somebody who moves around a lot, then just have the second one down as a temporary address, okay? Um, that you can apply for endless amounts of credit. So, I mean, technically you can, but as I mentioned before, the um, after you've applied for the third piece of credit, it's now going to impact your credit score, okay, and make you look uncredit worthy. Um, and then finally, that ignoring bills will make them go away. That That's not true. And we might stop getting letters. But what you'll see when you get your credit report is you've probably got a big D for default on your account. And that's going to last for six years. OK, so don't ignore bills. Even if you can't pay them, it's better for you to call the company and say to them, is it OK if I pay twice next month or is it OK if I pay a little bit late? Once they know what's going on, then they won't register it as a missed payment. But if they don't know what's going on, they will, and that will affect your score, okay? So um, the last slide um, is this is how you go about getting your score. So hopefully this answers your question, Mo. Um, so this is how to improve your score and also your next steps, okay? So, um, so the very first thing is to get a copy of your credit report. For, for you guys, the easiest way to do this is probably to download the Credit Karma app. Um, you can do that on iPhone or Android um, if you've got either of those. And the other thing you can do is just Google one of the credit reference agencies. So as I mentioned, the popular ones are Experian, Equifax and Credit um, Clearscore. Clearscore? Yeah, Clearscore. I feel like that's a pregnancy test agency, but yeah, but, but um, that, that's in one of the companies as well. Um, and basically, um, it will just ask you for your details, your name, address, date of birth, that type of stuff. And then you'll get um, information on your credit report. So that's where you want to start. OK. 
Um, and then from there, you just wanna check if there's anything on there that shouldn't be. So things like defaults, you know, I, I've got friends who um, they've had siblings or even parents um, apply for credit for things in their name and they didn't even know that they had defaults on their account. And then when they've logged in, they've realized, oh, hold on, like, when did I have a NatWest credit card? And then actually it was their brother or their sister or their mum, you know. So you do want to check this as well, okay? And just if you do have any defaults, you want to call up those companies and see if you can come to any arrangements with them. Because often if you come to an arrangement, and when I say that, let's imagine it says that you owe them £100. If you say to them, do you know what, I'll pay you £70 if you take the default off my account, often they will take that money because they want their money back. That's that's all they want, really. So they, they might take the £30 loss rather than not having any money at all. So you can always make arrangements with them. Um, next, you want to remove anyone, um, any details that are in that inaccurate and you also want to um, remove any details from anyone who's on your report so once again if you are linked to anyone who you shouldn't be um, you just want to you you will see when you download it you may not have any defaults and you may not be linked to anyone but if you are you just want to contact the credit reference agency to say that you want to be um, separate from the other people in your household and again, if there's any details that are incorrect, you want to tell them about them so that they can update those as well. So often um, these agencies might have an old address on there because that was the last time we registered on their electoral roll um, and things like that. So we just want to make sure that's all gone. Um, if you don't have any credits, you want credit, you want to try and get some because having no credit is as bad as having bad credit from a reference, a credit reference agency's point of view and also a bank's point of view, they don't know what you're like. They don't know if you can pay on time. They don't know if you pay late. So if you are somebody who's maybe just starting out, um, even if you've got maybe a bill at your parents' house that you can put in your name and start paying, um, or you've got um, you know, a credit card that you can get or a debit card, just something that you can now start showing that you can pay a bill on time. Um, and I keep saying this, but be disciplined with it, okay? So if you are gonna take out a credit card or anything like that, just don't go crazy with the spending because that's how people get themselves in trouble, okay? Um, another thing that you can potentially do is you can get somebody else to add you to their card as an existing um, card holder. So for example, if your parents have a credit card, they can add you on as an existing card holder. So you've got a card in your own name and then that will help you build your credit up if you start paying your card on time. And same with a partner, you know, maybe you've got a partner who's got some good credit, you can get them to add you on as an additional person and then they, you will have your own card and that will help build your credit up. So you can do that as well. But bear in mind, you'll be linked to that person. So if that person's got bad credit, you'll, you know, that could affect you as well. So bear that in mind. Um, once you do have an application or you do have some credit, make sure you pay your bills with direct debit. And I say that because a lot of us um, don't like direct debits. But one thing that we can always guarantee is that the payment is made on time. And that the payment's always made on time. So um, I would always recommend setting up a direct debit if you can. Um, register on electoral roll. I think I might have said that already, actually. But um, if you haven't already, just make sure you register on the electoral roll. And the very last piece then is to just keep your credit card utilisation low and your credit limits high. OK, so that is basically it.